Okay. Let's do it. So I'm wondering if I should do Red Dead Redemption on Friday or stick with Fallout. We've had so many people in the Fallout streams, and it's like, do I play Red Dead, which I know I will love, on the day of release, and people will probably get a kick out of the playthrough, or I, do I stick to what gets me literally, like, double, triple the viewers? I don't know. Do I completely sell out? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I want to stream it. I want to play it. Well, I'm going to play it, like I said, regardless. I'm, I, like, I will be playing it no matter what. But the question is, do I play it on the stream or the YouTube channel? I don't know. I'll think about it, though. This game after 76, we started this. We started a playthrough on this game before 76 came out. How far does the Pridwin go, I wonder? Like, if I watch it, will it literally just go forever? Oh, no, it stops over the uh, the big buildings, doesn't it? I want to see what happens. What about you? You want to see what happens? It's going to be sick. Watch. Yeah. So used to jumping over people in the Oblivion playthrough, you know what I mean? Do a launch day stream for Red Dead. But then we go down to, like, 60 people, you know? Like, if I stream this game, we get, like, 100 people, 150. If I stream any other game, it goes way down to, to like, 50, 60. I mean, you know, it's like... It's easy to just say, you know, play stream what you want to stream, GV. But then it's like, you do it for a year, and you don't get nowhere. Might as well just stream the shit people want to watch, right? I got to think about it, though. I mean, if I really want to do it, I will. Thank you, watery bread. No, it's not selling out, because I don't make, like, streams and... Okay, let me see. I wanna just want to see it stops. No, I'm, I'm, when I say selling out, I'm kidding. Because, like, um, if I were selling out, you know, when I start the stream, I... Uh, People were leaving comments in my Fallout 76 playthrough saying, Thank God I'm not, I, I'm a streamer or whatever that doesn't just like, you know, do Vats and be like, Whoa! Can you guys believe how Vats is? Wow! Wow! And just trying to, you know, make a shitload of videos about the one beta thing that I played. Okay! Whew! Let's, um... Oh, it's a dog. I'm hearing some weird thing outside. Okay, let's get started here. Um, I think we'll warm up this playthrough with a murder of a turret, basically. Damn, watery bread and red bear just bits all over the place. You guys gotta pick those up before you leave, okay? For real. Um, okay, is it still going? It's still going. Alright, let's move on. Uh, let's grab ourselves a bobblehead to wake up, and I'll go ahead and pick one. We've got all of the special bobbleheads. So let's pick a significant... I just typed bobbleheads, and then it... <laughs> and then it gave me, like, a whole bunch of places I could buy bobbleheads. No, that's not what I want. I will never use IGN again, by the way. IGN is the worst website. I don't know what it does, but it's all... Even if I hit stop on my browser, it's always trying to, like, load something. Thank you, Caden underscore, for the, for the 40 bit. You guys are doing, like, emotes, but I guess they're not showing up. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, IGN's website just always wants to load something. I don't know what the heck it's trying to load. Holy shit. But they are streamer snacks we try to feed you. Oh, okay. I had a huge lunch, which is why I'm feeling a little lethargic right off the bat. But thank you. I Thank you. I'll eat these virtual bits. They hurt my teeth. They're really rocky. Okay, uh, so we got all the special ones. Strength, Perception, Endurance, Charisma, Intelligence, Agility, and Luck. So, as far as skills, we got Barter, Big Guns. I just want to choose one. So, Barter's useless. Well, no, it's not useless. It's okay. Uh, big guns, useless. Oh, no, that's not useless either. That could work. Energy weapons. This dog's, like, having a heart attack outside or something. Energy weapons, I think we already got. I'm on the literal Fallout 3 bobbleheads. Dude, I'm not Fallout 3, man. Where's Fallout 4? It's, like, showing all of them. This dog won't shut up. Okay, let's see. Uh, we got utility and we got weapons. We got barter, lock picking, medicine. Yeah, we want to get a utility one, I think. Um, probably science. Yeah. Plus one guess hacking. Let's get science, I think. <laughs> Thronk is not doing the best. Thronk is not doing the best at all when it comes to uh, the uh, science and music. Uh, basically anything that requires more than uh, 2% of my brain wave. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not the smartest. I give it my best shot. What can I say? Dude, this dog literally won't shut up. It's, it's messing with my concentration. Duh! 
Okay, let's see. Where is this at? There's like some sort of middle school thing. Looks like it's close to here. There's the mass fusion containment shed. Not you too, Red Bear. Not you too. A2, Red Bear. A2. Okay, uh, looks like it's right about... I'm trying to pinpoint it so we don't waste too much time here. Right about... Here. No. Right here. No, I don't want it. No. I want to... Stop. Alright, well... Come on. Somewhere like right there. We can go to the Mass Fusion Containment Shed. And, uh, Mass Fuse. You guys hear the dog? Yeah, it seriously won't shut the hell up. It's going on for forever. Okay, let's do it. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, seriously, like, all jokes aside, thank you guys very, very much uh, for all these bits. You guys have been uh, dropping bit after bit after bit after bit after bit after bit. Um, the history of the stream has never really seen, seen that much bits um, other than certain people, certain people in the past that have decided to show their love with bits. But for the most part, it's just been donations. So it's interesting now that we've shifted over to the bit landscape. I, I'm looking at the stock market prices for the bits, and oh boy. They're just rising and rising. I'm going to hoard all these bits that you guys are sell uh, giving to me. Not selling to me. Giving to me. And, uh, man, I'm just going to wait for that, you know, wait for that price to, to raise and then sell that shit. Oh, I remember this location. Okay, let's try to tackle it and let's just... But I'm gonna, I guarantee I'm going to reload because I know this is a bad... What is going on? Dog's having, like, a crisis. <laughs> Old gullet sinkle. I remember this place. You know I remember this place? Because there's a death claw hiding in that box. And I remember doing a Fallout 4's Hidden Treasures for this. And uh, dying. And people saying I was bad. Oh, look at that. I think we're already dead. I love that. That's so cool that they did that animation. So cool. GV won't... Twitch won't let me donate. Ah, that explains it all. Uh, what's up, Pop-Tarts? Going good, man? Everybody asked about this headset. I need to set up an affiliate link because I probably sold them at least, like, three headsets by now. Uh, just go to Amazon and look up, like, gaming headsets. It's the top one. Oh, we have, like, a ton of Stimpaks going. It's the top one. It's whatever, the like, the best seller is. You gotta... Don't choose the sponsored ones. Those are... They're just trying to sell you something. Thronk, say hello! And we'll get a critical. Come on, Thronk! Man, we're like a legit dragon slayer now. More like humanoid alligator slayer. Can we do it? Can Thronk do it? Oh, he's missing a lot. Okay, that's bullshit. I don't have a choice here. You just grabbed me. Thronk think you strong, but Thronk think that I that Thronk is stronger. If I could hit you for fuck's sake. Why in bats we don't feel like any damage? Come on, one more! Come on, one more! Yeah! Ooh. What the hell just happened? Oh. That's right. Huh. I forgot it was an actual sinkhole. I remember this. Okay. Well, I don't know why we're doing this location, but um, we're going to do it now, I guess. Emo Chicken, 99, Charlie and Hank, thanks for following. Caden, thanks for another 30 bits. Thank you, guys. All these bits, I'm gonna go to a house, yo. I don't like skeletons. There is something... Strong not find him. Got away. Yeah, hold on, Strong. I know there was something to do with this place. Like, I, well, every Fallout location pretty much has a... Every Fallout 4 location pretty much has a magazine or something. <laughs> Work not like glowy roaches. Should be normal roach, not glowy. Glowy equals bad. There's something about this location. I guess it was maybe just the death claw. Uh, yeah, I think there's a magazine in the back, if I remember right. It's pretty much a magazine in every single one. I think I said that exact same thing twice. What the hell is wrong with me? Squirrel on a stick. Barrel ghoul. Yeah. Oh, God, a glowy don't do the exploding attack, just die. Strong is winner. Not just you, Strong. I'm here too, remember. 
Irradiated blood, nuclear material, nuclear material. My brain just wants to say nu nucle nuclear. Your headset has a G on it for GV, does it? Oh yeah, I never realized that. I didn't even know what that was. <laughs> What's funny is like, I didn't even, I just wanted a headset that would work and had decent quality. I didn't even like care about the design really. Uh, so I never even really looked at it. I just plugged it in and like used it. So I never realized that even has a G on it. <laughs> for gamer, for epic, cause I'm an epic gamer now. I've always been an epic gamer. Okay. Um, no, there was something Human in here. Not like smell? Smells like camp of Strong's brothers. Yeah, don't you understand, Strong, why that would be a bad smell? Like, I'm a human. I mean, I'm used to, like, good smells, like potpourri. Oh, we're always over-encumbered. Um, what do we drop? What do we drop? Why do we have so much stuff, too? Yellow flight helmet, see ya. Worn fedora, bye. And that's good for now. I swear to God, there was a magazine in here. <laughs> Well, if anybody knows that I'm wrong, feel free to tell me and I'll come back. Otherwise, maybe it's up here in this, like, uh, wherever this leads us. In their tongue, he is Dovakin. Gronkborn! It's Thronk, yo. Slaughter a boss, get treated to the goofiest soundbite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, that must feel bad for the Deathclaw. Big, giant embodiment of death. And you kill him, and then the next thing is... <laughs> <laughs> Thronk no like bugs. I don't want to make it too much like strong. That's right. I remember this. Yeah, it was like chained. Yeah, you couldn't get in here. You had to get in through the sinkhole. So there must be a reward in here, right? Hey, look, a boarded up wall. What is this? What's Fall Seventy Six? Not here. Left. Um, dude, you better give me some reward. I just defeated the Death Claw. Is there seriously nothing? A folder? Some shotgun shells? What the heck? There's a safe there. I could have sworn I don't think I will. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. I'll be with you shortly. After I pick a little lock. Check the cooking space. Oh, that's right, that's right. It is around the cooking. That's right, because I think I missed it the first time. Yeah, I think I missed it the first time because it was blending in with the cooking station. Yes. Yes, Sanguine. I think is absolutely correct. God, my stomach is so full of Mexican food right now. I feel gross. Okay, yes, I believe there is in fact, and it's like a survival one too. Yes! I remember I did the exact same thing because it was blending in with these damn cinder blocks. Wasteland survival guy. Permanently swim 25% fat. Damn, that's really good. Water aerobics for ghouls. And if no, if any of y'all in the chat are, are a little tiny little baby uh, casual, this is from Fallout 3. You help Moira make a survival guide. And you it's a great game because you can choose to completely mislead her because she's an absolute idiot into making the worst survival guide ever. Or you could just be a good guy and like make an actual legit survival guide. It seems like in this... <laughs> well, actually, I don't know. I have to look at the other survival guides because swimming for ghouls, I don't know if that's really that helpful. Braydeem and Mental Mate, Mental Meta Main, thank you for following Mr. Alliteration and Wandery Bread. Thanks yet again. Hey, GV, are you going to put these on YouTube? The plan was not to, but now that I'm thinking about it, I just might. Um, I don't know why. I mean, they're on the GV Stream Archive, but I might just do it on. Oh, no, did it remove them? I might just put them on the main channel too. I don't know. I have some time before Twitch goes away. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do. Like I said, Fallout 76 is the priority. So everything kind of revolves around that. Now we're looking for some sort of school. And this looks like a school building to me. Is it indeed? What is this? What is this? Fallout 76? Can't enter any buildings. They're all boarded up. Um... Okay, yeah, this is what we wanted, and apparently inside of this location, there is a bobblehead for science, which makes sense, considering it's a school. I thought I saw something on the cooking spit in the hole. You did indeed. You did indeed. Okay, I don't know where the bobblehead is. 
I would imagine we have to actually enter the location. Unless it's in here. Okay, we can't really take too much because we're so close to our maximum carry weight. Okay, yeah, it's probably somewhere in here. Let's go into sneak. Since we have just a little baby, little baby points of sneak. Or you can blow her up and turn her into a ghoul. Yes, you can. You can do that too. Or bits Bitcoin. Oh, God. Uh, could you imagine? Red Bear has donated 5,000 bits just this week. Wait, or just this month. I think it's monthly now. I don't know if I changed it. Dude, <laughs> imagine if you gave me 5,000 Bitcoins. God, I would never need to do anything ever again. I would be the richest man alive. What's one Bitcoin worth now? Does anybody know? Are you going to TwitchCon? Uh, I am not. No. No, 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 no. I think before I start attending, like, um, con conventions for Twitch and things like that, I really need to figure out what I'm going to stick with. I don't know. It's so hard. It's so hard. As you guys could tell, if I play Fallout, if I play Elder Scrolls, we get what I want. We. It, it, what would you do? You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, it's like if I play Elder Scrolls or Fallout, the goal that I wanted, which is a hundred people, just, it's done. I don't even need to do anything. It's done. You know. Um, anyways, point is that I think I need to kind of figure out what I really want to do for forever. I thought I did for the longest time. Oh, shit. Why are these switched? Will you move out of the way, dude? For the love of God. You are literally blocking me in every no, turn. Got me mad. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. For some weird reason, the controls are switched around. Uh, in Fallout 76, Vats is LB, but I must have switched these. Is it? Does anybody know? Is it by default? Is Vats on RB? Because I don't know why I have it like that. Uh, where's the throw grenade? Yeah, RB. Yeah, that's what it should be. Did they literally just switch it from Fallout 4 to, to, to Fallout 76? City Puja 99 already Nightshade 1. Thank you guys for following and welcome to the stream. 16 grand per Bitcoin, eh? Damn. Imagine if I had 16 grand times 5,000. What's the, what's the number there, huh? Huh, math nerds in the chat? Okay, who's next? This guy almost got me. This guy almost got me. Wait, what? Wait, this is a vault? Wait, what the heck? We have 50 stim packs. How the hell did that happen? Wait a second. What the hell is going on? I don't remember this place being a vault, but I suppose that it is. Vault 75. But I think the thing is actually in the school. Which is where now? Vault 75 and the school icon's just gone, but we activated the school! What is happening? Okay, well, I don't think it's gonna be the vault then. Alright, let me just make sure. I don't wanna be running around wasting a ton of time. Um. The heck? There's a school icon, but then it turns into the vault icon? This location is a schoolhouse that is mostly intact on the outside with a corner of the building missing the main doors boarded, blah, 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 which houses the entrance to Vault 75 guarded by gunners. Okay, now where is the... Oh, man, this is all, like, scattered. Fallout for science bobblehead. That's all I want to know. Please? Please? Uh... Malda... Okay. Okay, so it isn't... Okay, I just wanted to make sure that it was... I don't know where exactly it is. I just wanted to make sure that it was indeed the vault location and not the school location. Uh, Red Bear, thanks for the 12 bits. Hey, GV, if these are Bitcoins, I'm selling a metric ass ton of drugs to afford this. Well, I just finished... a uh, Spider Pig, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. I just finished uh, Breaking Bad. And I'm wondering, you know, the whole time... Okay, so it is in this vault, so let's go forward. The whole time I'm watching Breaking Bad, I'm like watching, I'm thinking to myself, is it really this easy? For somebody in the, you know, under Gustavo frame 
to be making that much gosh darn money. I, it is so, he Walter White makes so much money, like basically for free. I mean, all he does is cook. I mean, not for free, but you know what I mean. All he does is cook methamphetamine, and he just makes a shitload of money. I mean, I know the drug business pays, okay. Not to say, you know what, uh, for all of you children, it doesn't, though, actually. It pays um, less than minimum wage, if you didn't know. What is this quest? I'm totally forgetting what this is. And I, I, I have 100% in Fallout 4, so I've done every quest. I just, I don't remember what this one is. What the hell? Is it the drug one? What is this? Well, we're going to find out. My favorite are in Fallout 3 was Super Duper Mart. The school was also cool. I like Super Duper Mart because I remember originally playing the game and first happening upon that. And I remember thinking, like, oh, man, this game is way... Because I didn't know anything about Fallout 3 the first time I played it. Or Fallout. And I remember thinking to myself, wow, this game is way darker than I thought. This is like a... Oh, God, they're dealing a lot of damage to me now. Humans should fight with Strongmore. Good team. Well, I mean, Strong, we're fighting together all the time, so it's not like anything's really changing there, pal. Once you uh, pay attention. Not me. This is the school with the vault has... Ah, yeah. yeah, I want to kind of... I don't remember exactly... I, yeah, I'm not going to look at the chat in regards to this vault, because I want to know... I want to figure it out myself, because I don't know... I, I have no clue what this is. I'm forgetting completely. Gotta find the card. Okay, we need a lab access card. I mean, this isn't the Curie one, right? I, God, my memories for this game are extremely scattered. Oh, this is the vault where everything floats in the air. Hey, what's up, Frankie? Do you remember me from your Jackbox stream? If I said yes, will you believe me? Okay, so we need a lab access card to get further into here. And... What? Okay. We're, We're just gonna go ham. Play. Oh! Never mind. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay. Let's see what this is about. I do remember all these guns. Damn! Oh, shit. I wasn't looking at my HP. That was my mistake, folks. That was my mistake. What's up, Gray Fox? What about Way Darker, you were saying? Okay, let's run through this quickly. I'm wasting a lot of time now. Um, yeah, the when I first played Fallout 3... Ah, oh, so clunky. Where did you go? There was a dude in front of me. Playing like I'm drunk. Hold on. You hit okay, who's next? Jesus. Okay, Strong, I think this one's going to be a little trickier than usual. For some reason, it seems like, I don't know, almost like the difficulty was raised on some level. All right, buddy? So we have our work ahead of us, okay? Luckily, I've brought a lot of stim packs, but we're still going to have to keep our, our toes about us. No soup for you. Thank you for the 24. Jesus. So many bits. Thank you. Okay, should we... I, I think we'll read the vault stuff, considering vault stuff's really interesting. And uh, my point about the game being... When I first played Fallout 3, I had no idea what it was. I just saw it, and I thought it looked cool. Uh, so I wanted to play it. I didn't realize how dark and, like, scary to a very young me it was, because I was a huge pussy as a kid, as, as I've said many times. And so I just remember going to the Super Duper Mart and walking inside, and there was, like, bodies hanging. Like, they were, you know, they hung up the bodies or put them on spikes or whatever the raiders do. And they were all, like, screaming curse words in there. And I was like, this is not what I thought it was. Because <laughs> I was just a tiny little pussy. That's what I was trying to say. And then now that I'm older, I love it. Um, okay. So let's see what this vault's about, because I don't remember press release. Well, they're going to lie about this. The press release is going to lie. Um, okay, so these... Upon activation of Vault 75, all residents must be subject to standard admission protocols, details of which can be found in the Vault Tech Personnel Handbook. Once residents have been verified and sanitized, children under the age of 17 are to be taken to the atrium area. <laughs> There they will meet with the overseer who will provide orientation information specific to the children. All of the residents will be taken to the holding area to await their briefing from the head of security. What is this vault about? I'm like, I don't remember at all. And I'm like super curious. It's probably going to be a disappointment. It's probably just going to be like, how about we put sugar in their food? A lot, but not just, not just, not just sugar. Jesus Christ, you guys are spoiling me. 
Uh, a lot. A lot of sugar. How long, how young are you? I can do the math, but I'm lazy. I have no idea. I, I have no sense of timeline at all. I don't know when I did. I mean, I was like in elementary school. I think. Or, no, middle, middle. Because it came out like 2008, right? Human. Let's play. Oh, I'm really pissing you off. God damn it. Will you grab the frag grenade? I don't want to be throwing some fire bottles. Strong, I'm going to throw this at you. It doesn't make much sense for me to do it. I'm sorry. Because it's going to kill you too. And he was already used. Look, buddy. Let me tell you something. He was one hit away. Uh, stim pack. But I'm not going to stim pack. <laughs> You're immortal. You can't die. So, uh, Just, you know, take it on the nose. You'll be fine. Trust me. There was a long period of, of time in my life, even when I was in high school, where I was, like, so scared of dark things. And I don't know why. Not that I wouldn't do. Like, Fallout I could do. And, like, M-rated games I could do, of course. Uh, when I was in high school, of course. And probably near the end of middle school. But Gotta find for a long period of time, for whatever reason, I was just, like, so scared of shit. Um, I hated horror movies. I hated horror, like, haunted houses. I hated, I don't know, anything dark and, like, really... I don't know. And now I'm the complete opposite. Now I can't get enough of dark shit. Not horror movies. I still don't like horror movies. I, I think horror is the worst genre ever. Um, and I, I don't think... I just don't think they're good movies. And I think, like, torture porn and all that type of crap is just... Why does that even exist? I, I, I don't what? get that at all. I know people like it. I know it's, like, corny and cheesy. And that's some. That's part of why people love it. Not for me. But I'm not scared of it. Like, I don't watch it now. But when I was younger, man, I would just stay away completely from all that stuff. I don't know what changed. I don't know what changed. Growing up, you could say, but still, I was like, Jesus, that was brutal. Okay, we gotta be careful here, man. Remember, they do a lot of damage to us, okay? So be careful. Hey, Golvana, do you mind if I call you by your real name? If you're talking about Austin, go for it. If you're talking about, like, my full name, yes, I very much mind. But please don't. Yeah. Oh. But if you're talking about Austin, yeah, that's no secret. You can call me that. That's cool. I used to hate that name. And then I grew up and I liked it now. And I like it now. Okay, we gotta look. We gotta remember. We're looking for the bobblehead, too. It could be anywhere. They're usually at the very end. But not always. Not always. We gotta get upstairs and smash. Wait, why do I still only have tier one? Uh, no clue, because you have given a lot of bits. I don't know exactly why that is. No, Teddy bear in the, in the thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Of course all these mirrors got nothing. Come on, man. You could put forced impacts in there. No one's going to complain. How do I get upstairs? I want to smash you. And I'm coming. Where the hell am I? This vault just goes and goes and goes. What was that big location back there, though? I want to kind of... Yeah, get my bearings. I want to kind of explore all around. And I want to really kill this man. Uh -huh. Oh, Wrong fine stairs. Now you're dead. Where are you at, pal? Power attack. Power attack. <laughs> Okay, where are you? I need a rest, so I need to kill you. Sorry, I'd leave you alive, but, like, I need to use the bed, and you're kind of standing. Okay, watch this. We'll see some cool... Why does this Throck show you really cool strategy after I heal? I want to show you the strategy. Hold on. You charge up the power attack, and then you walk out, and you surprise the heck out of him. Uh, Mary and I saw A Quiet Place, but I, the thing is, I don't even consider that horror. It's like a thriller, you know? Uh, we both loved A Quiet Place, and we're both fans of, um, I refuse to call him, I refuse to call him, uh, what the hell is his real name? John Krasinski? That's not his name, okay? His name is actually Jim Halpert. Um, so we're both big fans of it. I, we, we love that movie, but I don't consider it horror. It's more like a thriller to me, personally. Up Top Land Heroes. There was once a little girl named Sue and a little boy named Roy. Sue and Roy grew up in a very special place called Vault 75. They learned and trained and played there. How they trained? God, this flow is magnificent. Sue and Roy were both growing up big and strong when, uh, when one day Sue and Roy were asked to visit the Overse- I can't do this. There's no flow at all. 
What's wrong, over... <laughs> What's wrong, overseer? Asked Sue. Why are you crying, overseer? Said Roy. It's just awful, cried the overseer, wiping a tear from her hand. Have you children ever heard of Up Top Land? Sue and Roy blinked and shook their heads. What's that, overseer? They asked. Oh, it's a terrible place, began the overseer, and she told the children about Up Top Land. She told them about the people living there and how they weren't safe or strong like the children of Vault 75. Monsters attacked them and evil bandits stole their food and it was no place for little children to grow up. No, not at all. Those poor people, exclaimed Sue. Why does nobody help them, wondered Roy. That's just it, children, the overseer told them. They need somebody big and strong to protect them. Who will help them, Sue and Roy asked. One day, children, you will, said the overseer. That's why you must do, uh, do your best at classes and training every day so you can grow up big and strong and go make up top land a happy and safe place for the poor people who live there. Sue and Roy smiled at that and ran off to their lessons, eager to help. I'm still not remembering what the hell this is about. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, I don't want anybody to spoil it. Not that it's a spoil spoiler, but... What the hell? Was it them, like, trying to... I mean, we'll find it out, of course. But was it them trying to, like, make them into warriors? I have a vague memory of that, but I don't... I have no clue, man. I have no clue. We will get to the bottom of it, though. You bet your britches. Talking about horror, the haunting of a hill it was a pretty damn good show. I definitely recommend it. I was I, uh, when Mary was here uh, last. I was uh, saying because we wanted to watch horror, we ended up watching the thing with um, Kurt Russell, the original 1980s. That movie is so disgusting. I, I think it's a good movie and I like it, but God, that movie's disgusting. I don't know what it is with the 80s and like awful, awful, disgusting effects, like people made out of Play-Doh exploding, and I, the 80s is just. What happened? What happened in the 80s? You know? Um, anyways, I was saying, well, we could watch that, or we could watch The Haunting of, yeah, The Hill, the Netflix show. Uh, if you say it's good, I'll give it a shot then, because, um, yeah, maybe we'll watch it together. Because I've been curious, and I was thinking that it was rated um, um, teen or what, 14 or whatever. But no, it's mature, and so I'll watch it. I, I'm not going to watch any horror movie or anything that's PG-13. That's ridiculous. Why would I watch... That's so, like, backwards thinking. Why the hell would I watch a PG-13 horror movie or show? What? What? It's like the most ridiculous thing I ever heard. So I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. I don't really know what it's about. I remember watching the... Uh, okay, so this is why this is here, because we can't actually go up there. I remember watching the trailer, and um, the kids are, like, saying all those horrible things, and I was like, what the hell? This seems really, really dark. Sounded like you said ass Sue more than Sue. <laughs> Malred 40. Tim, my whiskey. Thank you guys for following. Caden, thanks for those 30 bits. Thanks, everybody. If I miss any, sorry. Gets kind of hard to keep track of them all since you guys are. Okay, I'm getting turned around. I always get turned around in vaults. I need to concentrate now. So this is where we ran in, we killed everybody, and there's a, there's a pathway leading down, which is where I'm trying to find, but I literally get turned around everywhere, so bear with me. Where was the path leading down? Okay, here we go. Still don't know what this is about. Gunners everywhere, though. Jesus Christ. Strong find you! Uh, that terminal's out of commission. Still looking for bobbleheads. Probably gonna be in like a classroom, I would imagine. Gosh, this vault is big. You got this stronger. Okay, hold on. You stay right there, strong. We're gonna toss a little fun, fun ball in there real quick. Blood just spattered all over. Watch Halloween. I wanna, yeah, we're we're planning on doing that. Uh, my girlfriend and I. We're gonna watch the original Halloween. Oh, you know it'd be sick. I, I said I wanted to watch the original one, but to watch the original and then go maybe see the new one. Has anyone seen the new? Wait, it's out, right? Oh, look at the. Oh, look at these guys. <laughs> oh man, they could they couldn't show their love because the gunners just wouldn't accept it. But in death, they can finally be who they really were. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks so, it looks like they're legitimately embracing. Like, this guy just loves his ass. 
It's honestly not that scary to me. More this, more sad than anything. The haunting at, at Hill House or whatever. Anything scares me. I, I like I get scared by everything. So, like I like I said, I can stand it, but I'm still gonna be scared. I can stand horror and I can stand scary stuff. But I'm still gonna be scared of it. And I'm not, and I'm not gonna watch any like torture porn shit. Like Hellraiser, you wouldn't catch me dead watching that. Or like uh, Event Horizon. Screw that. Like, what the hell, man? What is up with people? Why why is, why is, are those movies a thing? Yeah, that's what I want to see. People's flesh get ripped off and, like, people getting sodomized and all this horrible shit. That's what I want to watch. Yeah, that sounds like a good movie. And I'm sure it has, like, excellent character development, too. Ugh. I don't get it. I know different strokes. I know I'm judging the fuck out of those types of movies, but... Okay, get out of my inventory. You're disgusting. Um, we'll take, yeah, we'll keep that. We need to get rid of this junk jet because it is, in fact, junky, junky. Uh, what's the value of this? Twenty-five. Get rid of that. What do we have? That's so damn. I don't really want to be dropping this stuff. Okay, we need to pick up that Zeta gun. That thing's worth a pretty penny. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. Oh, this! I remember this! Okay, I do remember this. That's like a shooting range, right? Yeah, they're training them to be... Oh, this is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the one where they're all, like, crazy, crazy, like, violent, right? Strangers really scared me because it's based on those unsolved murders in a log cabin. The masks were creepy. Never saw it. The new Halloween was pretty good. Okay. I've already seen the original one. I saw it a long time ago, but we're gonna rewatch it. How do you feel about horror games, though? Uh, same thing. Um, I can stand them. I am scared to death of them. But I try to do them on stream because they usually turn out to be really good streams. I remember this. Top y'all, Injector, Ah, uh, Bob. Those are the high scores. Oh, man, we use melee. <laughs> okay, Thrunk, take course. He try hard. Combat simulation initiating. And then I think it has to pop up. Who's there? Three, two... One. Begin. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Throng. <laughs> can we even go upstairs? <laughs> oh, yeah, we can. Okay. Really Hold on! Throng, Throng doing challenge. Hold on! Oh, you bitch! Oh, God. She just ruined this whole thing. Okay, let's use a couple of stim packs. Well, Thronk, I have to restart now. Thank you very much, Gunner Lady. <laughs> what? I did too. Next time, fight better. Oh, okay. Should have saw that coming, I guess. Man, we're going to be slow. But it's okay. I think uh, Thronk is used to being slow. You know what I mean? Is that everything? Uh <laughs> Still more? Donk, shoot, donk, hit every. Oh, is it on the outside? Donk, hit every glowy man. Is that it or what? I think you you will get a high score, right? If you top a. Yeah. Does it give us a high score? Restart. I guess it was just it ends if you if you're not even in the top ten or whatever. Child's Play movies, um, and I haven't seen one from start to finish, although when I was a kid, uh, I, like, caught glimpses of them, of them and they really freaked me out. So, Starting course in three, yeah, they really freaked me two, out. I was not a happy camper watching one, that. Begin. Okay, I thought there was one guy yeah. here. Come, what was happening? I guess you have to hit the actual target. Oh, you do have to come in here, though, right? Because these dudes are on the inside. Come on, man. Ah. Ah, it's not gonna work without guns, I don't think. Ah. Ah. Jeez, Louise, give me a break. Alright, is that everything? Because it doesn't, like, end the course. There's this stuff over here. Is there, like, people back here? Anything back here? Ah, oh, there's something. I guess this is the hangout of the kids. So I guess we didn't get the super big lore dump or whatever uh, going over, like, going over uh, what exactly these kids went through. But yeah, this is the messed up one. I do remember. I remember Got the it. shooting range, at least. 
don't care what you dislike, Strahg. You're gonna have to get used to it, like I keep saying. If you if you dislike me so much and you gotta go your separate way, that's that'll just give me a chance to meet somebody else. So, you know, do what you gotta do, pal. There's one I missed. I don't like horror movies, but Hellraiser is one of the greatest movies of all time. Maybe I'm judging it without really knowing too much about it, but isn't it just like a torture porn movie where they're just like ripping things out of people the whole time and doing crazy shit like that? Right? Or am I wrong? Okay, let's use a 10 millimeter. Throck not like guns, but sometime Throck realized you have to make do with what you have, as Throck mom always said. Oh, look at that. It even gives you a 10 millimeter. What? I'm missing a dude? It must be like somebody in a window over there or something. All right, let's try this again. I need to get the high score. I need to do it. Uh, which is 25 seconds. Starting course in 3, 2, 1, begin. What am I missing? Oh, this... No, I got this guy. One more. Where the hell is the last... Yeah, because I would imagine it would, like, say, like... Targeting simulation finished. Who is it, though? Is he like on the other side? What the fudge? I mean, they're there, they're. Was I missing this guy the entire time? He was like blending in with the sign. Ah, oh, okay. All right. We can definitely do this. Let's try it one more time. We got this. We got it. We got it. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. Hey, look, Thra. Hey, we're in fourth place. We're in fourth place. Durandum Channel, thanks for following. And Red Bear, 21 Bits Visage. That was a really good horror game. All right, I don't know how I missed it. Let's try it again. I'm role playing. I'm role playing as Throng. Jeez. I would think that you guys would like me role playing. That's totally why I did that. We got seven shots left. I'm doing pretty good. One. Ah. God. Oh, we got to reload. Oh, that was less than 25 seconds, right? I think we got the high score. What do you think, Strong? By 10 seconds, son! Jeez, all the hate in the chat, and we just look at that. We get beat it by 10 seconds. You all mean people? Do we not get anything? Don't you get something, or? No, that's it. The reason Thronk stick with melee weapon is because Thronk too good with shooty shooty pop gun, and <laughs> Thronk doesn't want to put that hate into the world. <laughs> Thronk just want to decimate people with axe and make their families cry. Do we not get anything? That's lame. Come on, dude. You really don't get anything. It should say like dispense. How did I cheat? What do you mean I cheated? What? This is a gun range. Why do you think there's guns here? We can't hit with melee. I mean, it's not going to be able to, to happen. Why? Yeah, why would they make it say, like, you know, dispense reward, and then you get, like, a reward? I don't know. Okay, well, let's see. Where else do we need to go now? It feels like that was it. Yeah, there's the lovers embracing one another. Human centipede. Oh, now I guess. Someone said that. I thought you were just saying that out of the, out of the blue. There was that upstairs. Oh, we still need the lab access card. What are these treadmills? What did they do to these kids? Well, we need the lab access card to get to probably the um, the bobblehead. And I have no clue where that lab access card is, but it's got to be somewhere. I mean, we already looked throughout all of this, right? Oh, we didn't actually look in here, though. It could be something in here since we were focused on shooting stuff. Yes, I bet you didn't think Thronk actually cracked shot. Thronk just not like to use his power for for evil. Oh. Well, shit. What the hell? Oh, was that a quest? Uh, I didn't even look if it gave me a quest marker because I was just exploring so far. Huh. Okay. Well, that, that's weird. <laughs> Thank God I decided to go back and check. The commander had it. 
No, not even. It was like a random toolbox. I can only imagine how many people are never going to find that. All right. Let's go see what this gives us. I don't remember, like, what the reward is for this place. And there's still one guy alive, I think. Unless we were able to kill him. But he was on the outside. Okay, so there's two... Wait, no. This is... Okay, here we go. I am remembering this, and I think there's even more key cards or something, right? We've got this here. Sliding door open. Why did I say that? We've got this here. Sliding door open. Excellent commentary, GV. Just keeping people on the edge of their seat. Okay, so that was just a shortcut. Then that goes into it. Without a card. What? Oh, okay. Yeah, yes. I was right. See, I remember this. I remember this. Yeah, we do need multiple cards. I see. I see. I see. Okay, I would imagine the bobblehead is either going to be here or it's going to be in the administrator office or whatever. Gosh, this place just all looks like the same hallway copied and pasted multiple times. Which I'm sure in essence is what it is, but we've been in here, right? What the hell? It's just the worst for me, man. I'm so damn easily lost. Okay, this way. We were already in here. What did, What the hell did we just open with that card? Ugh. We open this, we open this, and then we can't go through here. Don't have the card. So what the hell was this card for? This this uh, library card or whatever. I guess going up there? Yeah, alright, let's check this. Did we go up here yet? Okay, good. Alright, thank god. I was I was like, am I going crazy already? It's not it's not time for me to go crazy. Oh, look at that. Everything's an, uh, an observation situation. Gronk have exploding ball. Gronk give to you, okay? Present from Gronk. What the hell? I thought you were strong, you piece of shit. Gronk, hmm. come in. Oh, oh God. What have you done, Thronk? <laughs> we just exploded that dude. Jesus. Good night, Sky Dog. Just act like it's Thronk roleplay when you get lost and you have an excuse. What? But it's really me, and that makes me so sad. <laughs> okay, is there still somebody? Yeah, there's one person. Uh, Strong, you see? Oh, okay, they're over here. I really wish you could attack when jumping. I'd make. Oh, this person doesn't know where I am. I'm sorry, lady, for what I'm about to do. Oh! What the hell? She just started levitating. Okay, we should get a level up after the close of this entire vault. Siobhan J and Gold Deadpool YT. Thank you guys for following. We've gotten so many followers lately. Thank you very much. I hope you guys stick around. Ow! Oh! Trunk, so sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Seriously. Trunk, not know how he stay a man after all this ends. Okay. Uh, admin access card. Got some fusion cells. I didn't want to take that. Why did I take that? And whoop, there it is. The science bobblehead. Yes. Get one extra guess when hacking terminals. That's going to help us quite a bit. Always be prepared to explain the hows and the whys. Thronk not really understand what any of that means, but Thronk agree. Thronk think. Okay, obviously we're going to check out what this admin card gives us before we jet. There's like a lot of rooms down here, though, and I wonder what they're... They must all just be bunks and stuff. Yeah, okay. So, we, I guess, yeah, wh what this admin card's probably going to give us is it's going to give us the whole lore dump on what went on here. God, the vaults are such a good idea, man. So much potential, so many good ideas. And I think in, in Fallout 4, they did them uh, excellently. I think they did a really good job with how they did the vaults. It's hard to keep track of, like, all of the different vaults. For me, anyways. to remember, like, which one did which. Um... But yeah, I think the ones that fall for are especially good. Researcher's terminal. Here we go. Test protocol aerobic aptitude. 
This station exists to measure and increase aerobic ability and cardiovascular health of test subjects. As the treadmill operator, adjust incline and speed to reach and sustain target rate in the, shub in the, shub in the subject. Once target rate has been sustained for 60 seconds, gradually increase duress until peak heart rate has been reached or exceeded. Heart rate guide, side effect guidelines, researchers notes. Nina ought to be young, passing notes, shooting range, maintenance. Nina won't believe it, I'm actually on the research team. We always thought some grown-ups must stay in the vault to help the overseer run things, even if we never saw them. I was right. Not everyone has to go to the outside world. They said I'd do more good here, and I couldn't be happier. I wish there was some way she could know I'm still here, still able to watch her. She'll graduate in two years. Maybe they'll put her on the research team, too, if her scores are high enough. I remember, yeah, this was really weird. So, okay, well, I'm going to say what I think happened here. And if anybody knows and wants to correct me, maybe we'll look at the story if we miss some of these um, some of these lore dumps here. I do remember this one, and I think what happens is, like, they're training kids to be basically, like, super-duper strong and fit, and then, like, uh, um, you know, go out into the way. There's got to be a reason that they go out into the way, so I don't think it's to, like, reclaim, you know, reclaim, like, in Fallout 76. Uh, and then, like, the smart kids, yeah, they would put on the research team, like, this kid. And, uh, they would study the other kids. It's really fucked up, actually. Scottish Marcus, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Would you ever consider playing the Watson Scott's test? Also, I was already following you. I had to redo it so I could turn on notifications. I don't know what that is, the Watson Scott's test. Give me a summary, and I'll tell you. It's only been a few months since graduation, and already I feel so much more mature than the kids I'm monitoring every day. Rohit and James both still talk about taking over the vault, like they think nobody's listening. Robbie and Becca still speak off to sneak off to huff propellant. We see that too. They'll never make it onto the research team like I did. I'm just glad I can still keep an eye on Nina. 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 She's not doing too great on her scores, though. She was never much of an academic like me. Her physical scores are among the best in the group, though. I'm sure she'll graduate to a good team for up top. I just hope I can see her before she goes up top. I'm wondering, though, did they actually, like, send them up top? I don't remember. It feels like this isn't the last terminal. We might have, like, one more terminal. Probably in the administrator's office, of course. It's weird that it's not the overseer's office. This place is very confusing. I'm just going to leave now. I'm going to assume that all the other stuff is just, like, uh... Rooms. I'm assuming the main thing that you want to find there is the terminal. Okay, we need to go to that one room with the three lab access doors. And it should be this one here. I love that little animation, by the way, of the swiping of the card. Explore admin area. You got it, pal. Gunner Ooh. private. Thrunk. Thrunk. Say it quiet time now. Oh, 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 oh. Thronk almost got caught, but Thronk... Oh, oh okay. All right. <laughs> Thronk say cat out of bag. And now Thronk dead. You were the... You were the boss? The other person was a higher level than you. Disappointing. Okay, what do we have here? Chief Scientist Terminal. You see? Had to switch from Twip Twitch app. Stupid thing keeps getting out of sync. Sorry to hear that. It is a new horror game that is text-based. We just recently finished a text-based horror game. Uh, if I do play a horror game on the stream, it's going to be um, Call of Cthulhu. That'll be the next one that I play for sure. If I do. I don't know. Prime Directive. Here we go. Welcome to Vault 75. As outlined in your confidential briefing packet, Vault 75 is part of a top-secret military program. You have been selected for your professional credentials, experience, and commitment to the involvement of the human genome. Right, I need to level up. It is of the utmost importance that you follow the protocols herein. The mission of Vault 75, above all, is the refinement of human genetics. Your scientific staff will operate according to the research schedule set forth by Schlett, Braun, and Lamb. You will be working with an overseer with a background as a military officer. Your overseer will be responsible for training and maintaining the subject population you will be working with. It is important that you and your overseer maintain a healthy working relationship. So they took kids and they tried to make them into the best possible gene situation. Oh my god, and then they bred them. This is a really messed up one. They literally, like, raised kids from a young age to be the best possible that, that, they, that, that they could be and then bred them to, like, pass on those genes throughout different generations. Oh! Oh! Was there genetic harvesting? 
What does that mean? Vault 75 represents an unprecedented opportunity to test our hypothesis that the human genome can be improved at a rapid rate through the combination of selective breeding, hormonal treatments, genetic modification, and accelerated gener generational... Man, it gets even more fucked up. Experimental objective of Vault 75 are detailed in the handbooks which have been provided to you already. This experiment is intended to be carried out over multiple generations. As such, there may be unanticipated research opportunities that prevent themselves. present themselves. Such diversions from pro Provisional protocol are permitted at the discretion of the chief scientist V. Schlett I. Lamb S. Braun. Uh, staff replenishment. Because Vault 75 represents a long term experiment in a closed environment, it will become important to replenish staff periodically. This shall be done by selective recruitment of outgoing subjects. We anticipate a certain percentage of resident population to exhibit high intellect scores, but insufficient physical capabilities to be qualified for ge genomic harvesting. God, that sounds awful. Genomic harvesting. These subjects may be at overseer and chief scientist discretion offered the opportunity to join staff. Those who refuse should be disposed of in the same manner as unqualified outgoing subjects. Please know that all internally recruited staff should be kept strictly separate from general population for at least 15 years to prevent members of the general population recognizing former residents among the staff. Only the most trusted and capable staff members should be admitted to the genomics laboratory. It is the responsibility of the chief scientist to very carefully choose these staff members and ensure that they are sufficiently trained for their roles. Okay, now let's go for the big one here. Genetic harvesting. Sounds like a horror movie. Talk about horror tonight. Outgoing subjects aged 18 years with aggregate scoring of superior or excellent across key physical, mental, social traits must be escorted to the genomics laboratory. Processing should be done on an individual basis, basis and with great care. Remember that successful subjects will likely be capable of overpowering staff. Reiterate to the subject that a brief round of vaccinations is necessary and avoid arousing any suspicions otherwise. Each subject should have a file for processing, which indicates which specific organic material needs to be preserved for future testing. Be sure that these directions are strictly adhered to and that specimens are stored quickly. Wait, did that go through the process though? Oh, they literally take parts of... Oh... Which specific organic material? Ah! Alright. Uh, disposed. We had very low disposal overhead thanks to the excellent harvest ratio this year. Just 74% of the overall graduating class. Incinerations will be done within a week. Good first... God damn! This, uh, is there a more fucked up vault than this one? This has got to be up there in the top, like... Hey, look! I'm a top 10 YouTuber now. Top 3 super messed up vaults! Is This has got to be, like, top 3, right? Is there any other ones that are really, really bad? Which is worth investing more effort in? Fallout 4 or Fallout 76? It's up to you, man. I can't answer that question. Huh? Let's rock! Oh, I wanted to mine you to death. I was going to toss a mine in there and then have you kill yourself. That would have been really funny. Oh, you're still alive! Did you just get a critical? Okay. Ooh, thank you so much for the frag grenades. Really gonna help me out. Why is that so dirty? Ew. Uh, overseer's terminal, but I think we've got it. Unless there's... Okay, we'll just take a glance at it. We'll take a glance at it, see if there's anything else that we're missing. The Gary Vault. I was thinking about the Gary Vault, but it's not really, like, as fucked up as this one. Right? Blah, blah. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Uh, Remote door control, open door. Safe control, open safe. Vault 75 is completed. No, not engage lock, disengage lock. Silly. Anything else here, really? New researcher, nursery, captive, blah, blah, blah. blah. Probably all, all just expanding on what we already know. Okay, this safe has opened up. Boom, 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 bitty, boom, boom, boom. All right, let's go ahead and level ourselves up. Was there a perk for level 17? 27. 22. 18. Got to remember to get that. We'll, we'll get master lockpicks in the next one. Eight. 18 there, too. Could get sneak. I guess, yeah, sneak's worth investing, right? Okay, we'll just pump points into sneak. 
Yeah, I suppose so. You are now 30% harder to detect while sneaking. No longer trigger floor-based traps. I always like the, you don't trigger floor-based traps. Oh my god, especially in, <laughs> especially in Fallout. Yeah, that's like a hundred times more important because of the landmines. In Skyrim, it, it's like every floor-based trap is just literally like a little pinprick. This is probably one of the worst vaults. This one and the New Vegas one where they had to sacrifice a vault dweller to the computer every month. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. That was way longer than I expected to spend on this vault, but we got some good stuff out of it. Um, so what I wanted to do next was kind of get started on a settlement. And I wanted to ask you guys in the chat, what settlement would you most want to see? We've got some good ones. Spectacle Island. Uh, big giant island, but the problem is it's very hilly, so it's kind of hard to build on it. We've got Sanctuary, of course, but that's kind of boring because that's where everybody builds. We've got Starlight. I think that's the drive-in, right? So we'd have a big giant open area uh, at a drive-in movie theater. There is Hangman's Alley, which apparently is good, although I don't know too much about it. There's the castle, which is obviously just a huge castle that we can fortify. Uh, anybody have any, uh, you know, preferences? Any Any ideas? I mean, one of the most messed up ones, possibly the one that intentionally designed to just not work. Yeah, I don't remember, like, each and every single one, because there's been so many in all the different games. It's hard to remember, but there's ones that stick out, of course, like the Gary one. Oh, the chems one. Mmm. The chems one, where they're pumping, like, chems through the air. I remember that one. One guy get in a, uh, gets put in a vault with 99 hot women. Is that from the earlier ones? Because I've seen people mention that one before, and I'm not remembering that one. Some of the vaults, there's just not really anything in there except for terminals that kind of give the backstory. Find curing is pretty messed up. Is that that's the chemical one, right? That's the chems one where they're pumping like chems through the air. Or am I wrong? Jamaica Plains, the castle, the castle, Spectacle Island, castle, 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 Starlight, castle, castle. Man, everybody really wants the castle? Jesus. Okay. I'm down with the castle. I mean, castle is the one that I was going to do if I was going to. I think it was the one I was going to do. Or Spectacle, I don't know. I don't think I ever really put much time into it. Although I did. The castle is kind of fun because... Um, Okay, let's first of all find a way to get out of here. We'll do that, and then we'll do this. Yeah, the castle's cool because you have to kind of, like, repair it. Um, there's, like, almost a quest that goes with it. Plus, the way to, like, first get into it's really cool, too. All right, now I just need to find how the hell to get out of here. So, uh, just give me 20 minutes to do that, folks. Uh, we came in from this way. Yes, please. God, please. <laughs> please. Please. If there's a body in here to the left, there's not. Okay, we're, we're fine. Just keep going this way. Um, I'm not mentally ill. This is the correct... Ah, you see? You see? Ye, ye of little faith. The castle does seem to be the consensus, yes. Are there any settlements in the DLCs? I'm forgetting. Far Harbor... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Far Harbor, there was a lot. But I don't know if there was, a, like, a really good one. In Nuka World, I'm assuming there must be too. But see, the, at the point when like all those DLCs were coming out, I was just resigned to never using the settlement system because I was focused on the quests and everything else. And so I don't, I know Far Far Harbor has it. Like Far Harbor has some settlements, um, but I don't remember if Nuka World does. I would imagine that it does because it's so big. And then Automaton, Automaton or Automatron is like in in this place, so no new settlements, I don't think. And then the other stuff is just like throwaway DLCs. The rehab vault, yeah. Where they, after some months, open up a ton of drugs is also pretty mal. Yeah, well, they're all pretty much malicious, right? I just love that idea. God, I love that idea so much. And I hope whenever we get a Fallout Five. The fuck? <sighs> you not just armies? Ah, oh, I keep carrying too much. Um, okay, we need to drop that Brahmin skull. I didn't even mean to pick that up. That's under miscellaneous or junk. Okay, let's go ahead first and go to um, Sanctuary so that we can get rid of all this crap weighing us down. I need The reason I want to build a place right now is so that I can drop off all of our unique stuff and then we can get rid of all of our carry weight. The one that Val Valentine, Valentine is found in is the one that literally just doesn't work. It was designed not to be radiation proof. Ah, okay. 
I guess we didn't look at the backstory for that one because it's been a while since I've read that stuff. Doze Natum, thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. We do have to progress through the Minutemen. Yes, I believe so. What about us of mediocre faith? Get! You get the heck out. What are you doing here? Only ye of little faith. Okay, do we... How much right away? Oh my god, we've got so much. Dude, how the heck are we doing this good? I don't know. By the way, everybody, if you didn't know, uh, the next Fallout 76 betas have been announced. It's for Saturday and Sunday. I will be streaming them. I think Saturday is from my time, 3 p.m. Uh, it's like 5 to 7, right? So that's 3 p.m. To, to 5 Mountain Time, my time. Um, and then the other one is on Sunday. I don't remember when it was. It's at a different time, though, from what I remember. Okay, that didn't get rid of too much, so yeah, we really need to like get a settlement going so I have a chest where I can place all my garbage. Everybody wanted the everybody wanted the castle. I'm down with that. Um so that means yeah, I do think that we need to get a we need to do some uh some of this. Talk to the settlers at Ten Pines Bluff. It's everybody's favorite quests. The Minutemen quests. They're so varied and different, so much fun to be had in the Minutemen. Oh, man. Uh, are they called the Minutemen because they waste all of my minutes by going to settlements constantly? Far Harbor has that shed with tons of loot, but is that a settlement? Yeah, I want to do some things today. I want to get strong, like, a better weapon because he's just using a piece of shit. Uh, I want to find him, like, a... Um, Man, I never use companions in this game, so I don't even know. You can give them armor and weapons, right? At least weapons, yeah? I don't even know, because I seriously, I've never, like, in all of my time playing this game, the only time I've ever used companions is when grinding for their affinity to get their perks. And that's it. I never, ever, like, explored the wasteland with the with the companions. So I don't even know. You can change their weapons, right? Because if so, I want to give Strong, like, a unique, um, some unique melee weapon, basically. Not after setting them off. To what are you referring to? GV, why don't you use power armor? It's very overpowered. Because I'm a sneak boy. I'm a sneak boy. I like sneaking around. You can't do that in power armor. Even with even with our friend Thronk here. Um, I you know, we're putting points into sneak. I just I don't find it I know it's overpowered, but I find it cumbersome as heck, man. Super duper cumbersome. What's what do up? you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Uh, I'm with the Minutemen, didn't you? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Um, well, uh, do you want help or not? Do you want... Don't get the wrong idea. I'm damn glad you're here. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Well, um, I'll do it. I'll take Thanks, friend. Oh, God, folks Corvega. Are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. Did they always send you to Corvega at first? Jeez, I thought it was going to be simpler than that. Well, time to go on a slaughter fest. I'm not going to sneak around for this one. I'm going to run in and murder these dudes to death. Something cool to note for everyone disappointed that 76 isn't a real Fallout. It was likely a scripting test to start with, trying to implement online functions into their Fallout Elder Scrolls engine. To make use of that, they made a game out of it, but now the function is within their engine, so we may have co-op for future main series games. Do people really want co-op that bad? I, personally... Hey! It was my birthday recently, and I loved watching you. Thanks for your entertainment. Absolutely, man. That's the reason I do this, is just for you. Just for your birthday, I said, if there's one thing that I can do, it's start a Fallout 4 playthrough and, and play it for my boy, Caden, who I know very, very well. And uh, to be honest, just between you and me, man, screw all these other people. I do this for you. Just for you. So thank you for the $5. Happy belated birthday. And just keep you, just keep being you, Caden. Um, whenever I'm with friends, whenever I'm with Mary, whenever I'm with family, I literally always say, if there's one person I want to be in this world, if there's one person that I can be, what the fuck was that? let me, God, please, just be my boy, Caden. Guys, that was between me and Caden, okay? If you heard that, 
you know, that you were you're, 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 you're eavesdropping. And that's on you guys, all right? Can we get into this place from the back? Corvega. In all seriousness, no, the, uh, in all seriousness, though, thank you very much, Caden, for the five bucks. And uh, happy belated birthday. These days, I'm trying to be closer to who I was before when I was doing pretty good at streaming, pretty good at YouTube. For a long period of time there, I think I was waning and waxing in opposite directions over and over again. But now, uh, it, it's, it's really taken me having to go buy a house to realize, okay, I need to stop and I need to focus, you know, because I need to be a big boy. I need to make some big boy money. Uh, get ready for this house and, and just get my shit back in order. And I think uh, with these Fallout 4 streams, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. Wait, are we about to level up again? No, that was our help. That was, that was a very dumb thing to say, I think. Okay, so we have to go inside, but we'll kill everybody. Whoa! Oh, you had another grenade. Sweet, thank you. Not for me? Okay, White Wolf, look, this is just between you and me right now. I, I was lying about Kane, it's really for you, okay? Um, yeah, it's, it's, I, I, everybody else smells. To be honest, from where I'm at right now, the smell is unbearable. I don't know what the deal is. Luckily, you always smell like a jasmine-scented orange. So, you know what the real deal is. Pop tart, okay, for real though. <laughs> Everything I said before was look, I'm trying to get in their good graces, all right. You pop tart, buddy. Pop tarts? I mean, come on, you eat them raw, you eat them boneless, delicious. You eat them, you, you cook them even better. Like, how much better does it get uh, than pop tarts? Am I right? You, you can eat them boneless or you can eat them uh, cooked in like in a, in a toaster. So good. <laughs> Okay, so far we're doing pretty good. We're absolutely murdering everybody. Why would they even fight at this point? Am I right? God, I mean, you're watching your friends get slaughtered left and right. You guys, <laughs> none's gonna, you guys ain't gonna be able to survive this, I'm afraid. God, there's so many of you, though. Jesus Christ. Uh, let's just head inside. We'll kill everybody on the way out, I think. Isn't there a bobblehead on top of the plant like a luck one? Was it here? No, because we had to find this place. We didn't... There is a bobblehead, right? It's not luck, because we got all the main special stats. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Strong will break you in half. I knocked her head off. Jesus Christ. Yeah, isn't there a bobblehead here? I, I, th I feel that there is, but I don't remember. But it's not a main special one, because we've already got all those. And we have not activated this location, so... We have not been here just yet. If it is, I think it's going to be in the office. Think you can hide? Thronk not hiding. Thronk just finding things. Be patient, please. Whoa! Where'd you go, huh? It seriously is canon, though. Gonna kill you. <laughs> To anybody that actually gets incensed, because I'm sure there's one that thinks that I'm being serious. It's a joke. I love all of you equally. You're all my children. I would never say that I loved any of you more than the other. Obviously, obviously I love the guy slash girl that was here for one minute and I've never spoken to just as much as people that have been here for every single stream for years now. I obviously love you guys just as much. No, but seriously, I have a lot of love for everybody. It was a joke. I, I, I hope to God I don't even need to say this, but just for that one person that's part. Oh my God, I watched GV stream, and he literally singled out people that he liked better than other people, and he just said the whole thing was for them, and like, no one else mattered. And I was like, what the heck? I'm never watching this guy ever again. I'm refunding everything I've ever, all the donations, all getting charged back. Where the hell are these people? Yeah, I just want to make sure. Can we sleep? Whew! There's like literally murderers in the next room, but let's but let's sleep for an hour. Come out, come out wherever you are. Yeah, they're on the other side, strong, but nah, I don't know how to get over there. Man. Waste my time. I know. Tell me about it. We're like sectioned off over here. What the heck is going on? Oh. Okay. Time to die. Man, so 
many damn stim packs. I feel like we're unstoppable at this point in time. Um, we're just killing everybody, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bronk got a special surprise for everybody down here. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I like to think that Gronk is actually saying those, doing that stupid laugh every time that thing activates. Bristles Terminal. If there's any ever a uh, freaking name for a for a raider, Bristle sounds like it. Took down another caravan today. Hell yeah, that makes three in one month. To top it off, Freddy came by with the good news that another caravan is heading our way. Says he spotted some guards, but it's mostly civilians. They even got an old broad dressed like a fortune teller and some joker in a cowboy hat. Gonna ask Jared for more men to take this caravan down. That fucking hat is mine. I have no idea what that accent was. I apologize that I even put that into your ears. I am truly sorry. That was, uh, Lock tight. to say the least, something uh, very odd. Okay, there's a master lock here. I, our quest marker's not here, but we're gonna kill everybody no matter what. Because I'm just feeling the bloodlust at the moment. Use one stim pack before we die and have to reset all of this, which would be very, very, very sad. Yeah, I thought there was, like, a bigger... Wherever the... Yeah, Jared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever he's at, I think there is a bobblehead. Yeah, here, right? Oh, it's even higher. No, this is the room. Yeah, this is the room. I remember this room. This is the room. You're mine now. I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm yours now? Is that what you were saying? Don't forget, you can make strong carry stuff, too. You can carry most of all the followers. Oh, the most out of all the followers. Yes, everything regarding companions I usually forget. <laughs> Feels so good blowing those things up. Okay, there's Jared. Broke out of prison. Can we not get under this? What is this? Gonk, your head is too damn big, you melon head. Okay, let's kill him in an interesting way. I think we should still have a missile launcher, right? They followed willingly like lambs to the slaughter. Okay, this one's dedicated to all of your bits, Red Bear. Shit. I think he's dead. What do you guys think? These damn this I thought we Oh yeah, we couldn't get to it. Man, explosives melee build is way more fun than one might think. Okay, I think we still got some dudes in here, but we'll check things out for now. Corvega safe key, stim pack, not much else. It was a magazine. Yeah, I don't the, uh, before we leave here, is there actually a uh, Is there actually a bobblehead? Does anybody know? Nice. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus 5% damage. Damn, we need to, like, track down all the grognacks. Okay, Jared's terminal. I can make some really off-color jokes about Jared from Subway and his terminal. I'm not going to do that. I'm sure they've been done before. Um, but you can imagine what I would say. If you like my dark humor, just go through that little, pro you know, run that little simulation in your mind as to what I would make jokes about here. Um, oh, by the way, in the Fallout 76 video, somebody, I guess I shouldn't even mention this. Yeah, I'm not going to mention it, but somebody made a comment on my YouTube video saying that I made a joke, a really, like, off-color joke. And they must have... I don't know what I said. I'm just curious as to what I said. I hope he responds, because I responded like, I would never make a joke about that, so I, I, what did I say? Because I want to hear, because it definitely wasn't about what he said. I know I'm not giving you any context, but... Outside? Outside, it's repair? Okay. Thank you, guys. Repair bubble. That's right. That's right. Now I remember. Yeah, it's the repair bubble head. Okay. Um, I've read through all of this a million times, so... Yeah, he just, like, you know, they took over the... The bunch of raiders took over the, um... The base, basically. And I know that this guy references... Other raiders. Like, other groups of raiders or something. I forget what the deal is with Jared, but he's, like, involved with a bunch of stuff. 
Okay, so y'all are screaming at me saying it's outside, which would make me think that it's at the top of this building, right? Ooh. Unfortunately for you. Oh. God. God. How can you live with yourself, strong, thronk? Strong and thronk? Kill that robot. Uh, y'all are saying it's outside. I don't remember exactly where it is, but like I said, I'm assuming it's at the very top. This goes straight outside, but I think what we have to do is use the elevator, right? Does this go up or down? That glowed, so I think this goes down. So let's just go out here. I thought it was in here. Is it not in the top of here? I guess not. Okay. Let's go outside and go to the top and see where it's at. Fusion cores last longer is all that it does. There's an, a bobblehead outside the very top. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Ra Red Bear, 15 bits. I told you to go after all the mags and bobbleheads because OP Thronk. I mean, Thronk's pretty much all, already OP. He's a crazy man. But yeah, the Grognak stuff. Okay, so it's like, yeah, that's right. I remember now. It's all the way up there. Um, okay, so we have to climb this and then jump on over. And there's still lots of people out here. Throck, so sorry for everything that he did. Throck just want to live his life. But raiders make it so hard. Throck just want to parlay and use Throck's speech skill, which is, is no, high, no, right? Throck's speech skill so high. This is bullshit. Okay, I think we gotta go this way. Probably even more raiders. God, this place just has the most people out of any damn building ever. So I think it's up there. This leads... Jesus Christ. It all interlocks, it looks like, so we could choose either way. Okay, where is this bobblehead at? Is it over here? I think it's on the other side, but I need to make sure. You feel that? <coughs> God, I want to fuck Roda you so bad. Oh, maybe we can. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Must be hearing things. Aw, you didn't do it! That's okay. We all make mistakes. And there it is, repair bobblehead. Fusion cores permanently last 10% longer. Why go down with the ship when you can try to fix it? Excellent. Uh, fusion cores. We might like make an end game power armor build or something. That'd be kind of cool. But I think we won't use it for the longest time. Okay, how about you? Another chance. Hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, excuse me. Sir, I will be right with you. Jesus. People have no patience. Okay. You want to... Oh, hold on. Just do one of these. How about that? Wrong throw disc that explode. Oh god, no! Oh god, I thought that was the end for our character right there. <laughs> Although it could still be. No, we'll, we're fine. I, <laughs> I thought that was it. I thought it was going to fall in between the scaffolding and... Goodbye, Thronk. Just want to say I like your shirt. Oh, hell yeah. I think I, I feel like so many people have this shirt because this is, I think it's like a Target special. But it's a very cool one. I, I've seen this shirt so many times in like movies and TV shows and... Well, I mean, uh, YouTube videos, I should say. Uh, I'm sure movies prefer to not have people wear stuff from Target. Uh, but yes, I like the shirt quite a bit, too. I, I tend to try to stay away from the Target stuff because, like I said, you just see so many people with those shirts. But sometimes they make some pretty cool stuff, you know. All right, we're going to chill here. I'm going to grab some water, go to the bathroom. And make you dead. Let me save just in case. Just in case the thing from Dark Souls happens and a fish dude runs up. Or the thing from Bloodborne happens. And a fish dude runs up and stabs me. And then makes us go all the way back. God. Anybody remember that? That was awful. I'm going to talk to the chat and then uh, go do that stuff real quick. Caden, thanks for the 12 bits. Have you ever played Undertale? Oh, yeah. We were we just streamed Undertale recently, actually. Um, I beat a genocide run. I have a full Let's Play of it if you want to watch that on the Va uh, channel Vonasaur. We did a genocide run recently on stream, and then I was going to do a true pacifist run, but I kind of lost interest a bit. So, yes, indeed. It thronk thronk bash skull. Oh, I strong. Fusion cores last longer. Yes, indeed. It was there. I found it. Look at that view. Indeed. GV is the goat at Bethesda Games. I don't think so. There's people out there that are way more technical and knowledgeable about the Bethesda games than I am. But the one thing that I am is persistent. 
okay? If I go to Corvega at a low level, or if I go to anything at a low level, you bet your ass I'm gonna be walking out of that place with my bobblehead and my leg and my arm missing. Uh, also, I'm gonna 100% the heck out of everything uh, and not stop till it's all done. So that's where I get my... Yeah, I get shit all the time for, like, missing stuff and forgetting stuff and things like that, and I, I, I've come to terms with it. I, I'd say my strength as a Bethesda tuber it's just doing everything, you know, doing everything in the game. Because I want to see everything and do everything, get every achievement and stuff like that. Wow. Even if it takes me a little longer than other people. Alright guys, I'm going to be right back. Thank you so much. Oh my god, Crimson has the clip. <laughs> uh, the channel is Vonasaur. V-A-N-A-S-A-U-R. Oh my god, watch that clip, guys. Watch that clip. That's exactly what I was talking about. Holy shit. Watch that clip. I love this clip so much. Before you watch it, just to give you context, pause it, pause it, pause it. <laughs> just to give you context, I was playing through a blind playthrough of Bloodborne, and we got to the DLC. Um, what's the DLC called? What's the DLC? I don't know, the one with the, the, the really hard boss fight at the end. The fish one. We got to the end, and like I was just, um, you know, I was getting water or something, and I had killed everything, and there was like one more fucking dude, and he gets me. You can hear him walking, that son of a bitch. Look at this guy. This hurts me to watch. That hurts me. I have killed... That's a, that's a specifically, that is a specifically, yeah, Old Hunters. That is a specifically, that area has so many things at it, and it, and it takes forever to kill everything. And I killed, like, every single thing, and there's one, like, fish dude left, and he can't, he comes and wrecks me. It was awful, dude. I mean, seriously, like, all jokes aside, everybody makes jokes like, shit like that happens in Dark Souls. That was awful. That was so bad. That, like, really made me sad. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching so far. I don't remember how I reacted when I got back. I know you guys can't see it because Crimson put the link in the description. In the chat. Um, I don't know how I reacted, but... Uh, I mean, I'm sure I took it in stride, but... Seriously, it was awful. Because that, that particular area had given me so much trouble. And it was so, like... It was so long to complete. And it was, it was just such a... Man, I mean, Souls players know. Like, there's areas that are just Cancer Incarnate. And that was one of those areas. There's so many, like, fish dudes running around. Like, dudes, like, lightning, lightning you. All sorts of bad stuff. And so it was... Uh, to, to lose all that progress was just... <clears throat> sad. You find those raiders? Don't need worry about them. I... No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. 
No problem. Now, talk to Gravy. The castle's pretty early on. Oh, God, do we have to grind, like, a million things to get to the castle quest? I almost feel like that's what it is, but I don't remember. Because I know you have to do, like, certain amount... And I don't know if it's, like, the amount of quests or if it's the amount of time that passes before he gives you, like, the real quests. Our little... I don't really want to, like, devote the entire stream just to doing... Sanctuary Revival Project has really helped. It takes my mind off things. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> no one wants to see a grown man feeling sorry for himself. Yeah. Huh. Now take that to heart, because you're exactly right. <laughs> yeah? You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, you'll have help whenever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Ah, uh, not interested, to be honest. I'm not Just hear me out. This is important. <laughs> he still keeps going. Have you heard of the Quincy Massacre? Uh, I'm unsure. I don't think. I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. Where the Minutemen betrayed each other and the people they were supposed to protect. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended and conquered? With a death claw! As long as you I'm not about to give up, but I can't protect the Commonwealth all by myself. Hell, I could barely protect these people. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. With my axe? Hey, I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Ah, uh, if it means a big castle, yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. A Strong star, admires you. Star for the oh Man shit! And the Commonwealth too. How are we getting Don't more worry. good I'll than right bad? With you all I feel way. like he's so angry with General. Me. We're general already. Quite a promotion. The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of general. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in '82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Why would you make I've got something a bit different for you? Oh, is it different? Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Oh. The trouble is that some kind of vicious beasts are lairing there. Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. How come you weren't Before specific? You know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth. One piece at a time. Well, it's going to be up to you, because I ain't going to build all these random settlements up one by one. That ain't going to happen. But, uh, if, yeah, I mean, if you want to do it. I actually do like the Starlight Drive-In one. Oh, this is the next one. Yeah, so far it's following in sequence. I forget when it gets, like, random. Good night, Jocelyn. Uh, what's up, Precision Games? You love my Oblivion series? Strong well, thank you, man. I'm word. glad you did. Strong learn. Respect. <laughs> Uh, respect is good. Respect? Strong respect, human. Human fight good. Human help strong. Super mutants are brothers. Brothers share all, not own things like humans. Humans share like brother. Super mutants fight. Kill, not talk. Human kill, not talk. Human would be good, Super Mutant. I think so, too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Of course. Strong is strong. But that just doesn't really mean anything. We still have to get him to the next tier uh, in order to get his perk, I believe. Uh, Red Bear says you should be able to get to the castle quick, and then Sarge should be fun with this build rip in advance. Sarge? Is that the person with the minigun? 
I'm forgetting. How much does it cost to buy a house in the USA? Uh, mini poppers, yeah, put a pretty good, put a pretty good estimate. Uh, kind of depends. A deal, Trudy. Oh, this thing. Hand over the goods, you owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Can you I help? Easy there, my boy. This doesn't involve you. Ah, uh, how about you lower your gun? You stop. That's it. You're oh. dead. Okay, oh. we can do it that way too. I'll kill all your <gasps> and your son, come here. Hello, clearly African-American woman who is this white man's son. Hello. Okay, we got Wolfgang. This is usually the first thing I do, but I guess we somehow just completely avoided it. Um, yeah, house, uh, that's a pretty good range. Uh, how, yeah, obviously, it depends on what you want to get, of course. Um, but Colorado is very expensive here to get a decent starter home is anywhere from like 200,000 and up uh kind of in the midpoint is is where i think most people would want to shoot for 250 to 300 thousand dollars that's the but then of course that's the purchase price you don't have to put all that up at once uh the main thing is the down payment <clears throat> <laughs> i can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scumbag here this is for you now if you ever need to trade, my shop's open. People like the helmet, though. Uh, okay. Maybe. Let me think it over. People like the helmet. How dare you call it gross. Mods, will you ban Rough Duck? Just kidding. Don't ban him. Three-bedroom house in New Jersey is about 400k. Jesus Christ. Why is it that? That can't be that. Is that really the average? That's awful. Sarge is the huge sentry bot in the... Oh, duh. Oh, God, yeah. I think we're, we're pretty over-leveled, though, at this point, though. We might not have that big of a deal. I think mole rats are here, right? If I remember right? Yeah. We might not... It might not be that hard, but yes, maybe rip in advance. I forgot about Sarge. That's right. Ooh, we can get the, the hat that I like so much. See, this is one of the really good settlements. Uh, you can... You can, you know... Jesus Christ. Build and activate recruitment radio beacon. Oh, that's right. I remember this. Yeah, this is one of the good settlements because it's nice and flat. Very, very big. Um, kind of boring because it's just like a drive-in movie theater. But one of the good ones. One of the ones I was seeing. Um, was thinking about making. Spectacle Island sounds really good. But we'd have to kill the Mirelurk Queen. And it's very, very hilly. So, yeah. It'll be definitely challenging. That's good night, it. Arctic Wolf. Strong dislike that. <laughs> Strong. You really need to chill out, man. You need to smoke a doob. Smoke a doob, bro. Okay, so what was it? It was like... Oh, these are new. Yeah, that's from Nuke World, and that's from... What the hell is that icon? A little death claw. I guess I never even tried building anything after the DLCs came out, because I don't even remember seeing these at all. Uh, what was it? Uh, this is new, too, I think think. I'm not sure what these icons mean. Maybe these aren't from the DLCs. I don't know. So, excuse me, Strong. Uh, what is it? Resources? Miscellaneous, maybe? It's like a... What's it called? Beacon? It's not the siren, right? Alerts nearby settlers to danger when triggered. Is it this? I forget what the thing's actually called. Build and activate recruitment radio beacon. Yeah, it's not that. What would that be? Structure? Wood? Metal? Concrete? It's not going to be structure. Furniture? Decorations? Power? Generators? Lights? Miscellaneous? Recruitment radio beacon. There it is. And we've got the stuff for it. Let's put this. I think I usually put it, like, in the back here. Let's put it right there. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it requires power. Build a generator connected with wires. That's right. Okay, so let's go to power. Generators. Uh, how do you see how much it requires again? I'm, ex I'm an extreme noob when it comes to the building in this game. Uh, so, requires one power, and this provides three, right? Yep, okay. So, we'll put that here. Why would we put it in front? That doesn't make any sense. We'll put that here. And then how do you... Yeah, you press Y, and then you do like that. 
I mean, you get bottle caps somehow. After playing Chrono Trigger, I can't hear your notification sounds without humming the rest of the song. Wait, do I have Chrono Trigger? Isn't it like all Skyrim and Final Fantasy stuff? Okay, let's go ahead and level up. I know we got a bunch of level 18 perks that we need. Uh, not big leagues. Locksmith, and then what was the other one? There's something up here, right? Toughness. Uh, let's go with Locksmith. You can now pick Master Locks. So we can pick all of the locks. And we just need to go back to Gravy now. Yeah, I really want to do some settlement stuff. It feels so much better to play this on PC, because the, the one I played most of it on was the Xbox One, and it just was so... God, once you start playing games on PC, this is not a Master Race thing, I'm just saying. Once you start playing games on PC, you cannot go back, man. It's so hard to go back. Thank you, Red Bear, for the continued bits. D. Mary, thank you for following. Scarred, Ash, Pip, Dog. Did I miss anybody else? Uh, thank you all for following, and welcome to the stream. And Red Bear donated another 12 bits and just said, <laughs> Oh, 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 I see. It was the... <laughs> it was the idiot savant thing. Just be safe and have a nice, nice cushion of money so you're not too stressed out if the economy goes to crap. Uh, no, I'll be... No, yeah, no. Um, I'm extreme... As I've always said, I'm extremely good with money. I'm not just saying that. Trust me, I would never put myself in a financial situation that would screw me over. Sir, welcome back. Sir. Knock on wood. I do um, the only thing is I just need to make sure that uh, YouTube's still going good because there were some issues with my network, which, by the way, I was able to contact finally for anybody that was keeping up with that. I uh, just need to make sure that, you know, everything's good with, with YouTube and Twitch and the network. And Twitch has had a big upswing, and YouTube hopefully will have a big upswing. It already has um, in the statistics. Everything's up right now, which it usually is at the end of the year, just because all the uh, all the statistics are, statistics are better near the hey. end. Uh, so I cleared as long out as that, that spot you sent me I'll to and set up a radio beacon there. That's great news. Once folks have some place to call their own, they'll be willing to help defend it. As usual... I have something else for you to look into. I'll mark it on your map. Go we'll find out what they need. We can use more settlements supporting our cause. Okay. Forget how many of these we have to actually do. See you later, Lucio. Are you going to be playing Fallout 76 later tonight? Uh, you cannot play it unless they announce something. Um, you can only play Fallout 76 during the scheduled betas, which the next one is going to be Saturday. So, it is impossible right now for anybody in the world to play it other uh, other than people that are a Bethesda developer, from what I understand. We'll use some power armor for at least the castle quest. Um, I want, I'll go ahead and say that we'll use some power armor, but maybe once we get a little bit later... It, we'll I'll, I'll try to switch up the, the play styles a bit, you know, using power armor and um, uh, different melee weapons, if we can get our hands on it. Strong nut. Oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna screw myself over by buying a house that I can't afford. Um, I definitely, yeah, I, I've had a million meetings with with mortgage brokers and uh, real, you know, the the, the the mortgage broker and the realtor, and um, definitely know what I can and cannot afford. And unfortunately, everything that I really want is at the tail end. Everything that I really want is at the tail end of my price range, and that doesn't make me happy because I would just, like, if, if the, I, like, I could still afford that, but I just like it if it was, like, you know, a little bit cheaper, but it, right now it's kind of dried up because it's, uh, yeah, when it gets to near the end of the year, people just stop putting their houses for sale because nobody really wants to be, like, in the move out, move in process during the winter, during the holidays. Um... But, I'm meeting with a realtor, a realtor soon to look at some houses, so we'll see how that goes. That'll be the next step. Have you ever thought about doing a Final Fantasy VII playthrough? Uh, we did stream it a long, long time ago. Um, as far as an entire playthrough, probably not because I beat the entire game within the past like year or two years or so. Uh, so, it, it's not, like, fresh enough that I really want to do a whole new playthrough. And I'm just not as knowledgeable about it. Like, I did a Final Fantasy IX playthrough, and that was good. Um, but I'm just not that knowledgeable on Final Fantasy VII, like, all its secrets and things like that. Hi. Final Fantasy IX is my game. That's my game. One trick in my drinking. 40% uh, ABV water. It'll get you drunk really quickly. Did the quickly. send you? 
What's going on? Yes. There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies and threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. I remember this one. Don't worry. Don't worry. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Yeah, this one is the... Yeah, so far all of this is, is the exact same. I just always get confused whether or not... Uh, Preston's quest just uh, just get you know they you jumble them up and they just go to this place but that's right all of these uh, are the same way every single time because it's teaching you about the settlement system I remember this one and I remember I, I man I've gone into this place and murdered all these raiders at least like at least 10 times now uh Caden thanks for the bits are you gonna do any modded playthroughs uh if I can yeah the thing is if I stick with Fallout Strong and Elder Scrolls open things Look around. If I stick with Fallout and Elder Scrolls on Twitch, yes, because I want to save the big playthroughs for 100% playthroughs um, for the YouTube channel, and so I need to find a way to stream these games on Twitch without them being just normal playthroughs, because I want to do those on YouTube, unless I decide to take YouTube in a different direction. What the hell is that? So part of that is, of course, modded playthroughs and doing modded quests and all sorts of mods and things like that. So yes, this I do. I have fun. thought about it, and it will happen if I stick with Fallout and Elder Scrolls for Twitch, because up until recently, it's always been the variety. Oh! So sorry, you're drunk. Yeah, up until recently, the Twitch has only been variety. Everything not Elder Scrolls or Fallout. So now that we're playing Fallout again, uh, we'll see. How the heck am I going to get this? Well, we got a tool exactly for this situation. Snack time. <laughs> Snack time, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, yeah, I remember this one. Uh, we're gonna treat this like a stealth mission. That was a good one. You have any more stories like that? I think your sub follower sound is the battle theme. Uh, the follower sound. Oh, is it? Okay, if anybody's watching this stream right now and you haven't followed, hit the follow button so I can hear. I, I thought it was the. Oh, that's right. I did change it. Yeah, for the longest time it was. Um... For the longest time, it was the Skyrim level up sound, but that's right. I think it is. Um, yeah, it's the. Da -da 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 -da. Oh wait, no, that's <laughs> that's the Fallout. That's the Final Fantasy fanfare. Man, what a great stealth mission we're treating this as, huh? We are so incredibly stealthy, this giant manly man running through, smashing everything with his big giant axe. Should save the missiles for the castle? Nah, we'll be fine. Oh god, yeah, actually, the castle's gonna be tough. We'll be fine, though. We'll, uh, we'll always find a way to make it work. And, and I want to kill everything. There's just no way to do that. Uh, we couldn't get up there. We had to think outside the box. Okay, I think there is a magazine in this place, right? Or am I wrong? All right, let's now do it as a... No, we can't. Run away like no! No! I bounced off her stupid cage head! Do you think that hurts strong? Does strong get buffed or something when he when he increases his affinity for you? Oh my god, it bounced off her head too. Are you joking? <laughs> oh my god, that was a literal double bounce off head grenade twice in a row. Next time fight better. Nice baseball bat. I've got an axe. Kill the raiders and bat. It's not completed. There's still more raiders. You silly game. I'll take that. Thank you very much. And I'll take that. Thank you very much. I don't really want to sleep on this bed. It's disgusting. But there's nothing. God, this place is big. The quest is completed. I guess we'll just leave. I do want to kill everybody, though. I want to shove this axe directly into everybody's receptacle as much as possible. Much better way to phrase that than what I just said. Yeah, I guess we're done here. That was pretty easy. Okay. Don't have fun bouncing grenades off of heads. Let's see. So there is a steamer trunk. We pretty much got everything. There is a safe on the wall with an advanced lock. Inside yes. of which... 
not too much. Yeah, I don't think there's a there's a terminal though, but that's just probably gonna interact with the turrets. Okay, yeah, let's just run through these quests as quickly as possible so that we can get to the castle quickly. I want to do some settlement building for sure. Definitely need to rewatch Chrono Trigger. That playthrough was hella dope. That was an old playthrough. I think I didn't even have my commentary legs on my uh, my commentary, le you know, like sea legs. It, it makes sense, trust me. I don't even think I have that going just yet. But I thought it was, yeah, it's a good one. It's so weird, like, when I go back to those old videos and just watch them for a split second. I can never watch an extended period of time because it's, and I used to do that. I used to watch myself a long time ago, I guess just to get better. But um, it's so hard for me to watch because, like, literally I always have the same voice and there's no, <laughs> to me, it's just like there's no life in that voice at all. And I, I it's funny because I remember thinking I was doing a good job when making those Did videos. Did you have any luck with those raiders? Drunk, well, I need to talk to you. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? That's the best news I've heard in a long time. And by the way, we've talked about it, and we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Okay, thank you. Oh, uh, yes, by the way, ladies and gents, um... Forgot to mention this earlier on. If you weren't here uh, last night on the Fallout 76 stream, uh, I have re-enabled caps. I've completely wiped them. The caps are completely wiped. The cap system, if you look below the stream, you'll, you can read all about the cap system. Completely wiped. Everybody start o started over, and I've enabled the rewards. So, basically, you get five caps every ten minutes. Or that might be reversed. Ten caps every, ten caps every five minutes. Um... Just by watching the stream, just look below uh, to, to enable them. It's very easy. And then you can turn them in for rewards and prizes. Right now, the shop is pretty scant. There's not a lot of stuff there, but it will change and upgrade as time goes on. Uh, I've sent physical things out, physical boxes of prizes and things right now. Right now, it's very, like I said, it's very simplistic. But I do plan on upgrading it um, once I have time to do so. So, uh, yeah, you know, stick right. around and watch, uh, you'll get caps, and even if you gotta go do something, turn on the stream, buff up my viewer count, and get yourself some caps, even if you're not actually legitimately watching. Uh, yeah, that, that makes me happy too, I'm not ashamed to admit it. Give me your hollow view counts, I want them all. Uh, but yeah, when you watch the all, everything's explained below, um, you just get basically loyalty points or currency, whatever you want to call it, as you watch my streams. And I'm not going to reset them anymore. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now. Uh, I'm not going to reset it anymore. So this is this is it. And in fact, I gave everybody that subscribed to the Tier 2 and above uh, last night and before the extra 1,000. I guess we'll just run through this. I think I'm pausing a lot, so I don't want to do that. But we still got a lot of time in the stream. Okay, so let's... So, um, first of all, if you look below the stream, let me just explain this. If you look below the stream, there's a whole entire cap section. It'll explain everything about it. And people are saying there's a new extension. I still haven't gotten any caps yet. But I've looked, and people are getting caps. People are legitimately getting caps. Like, let's see. If I talk, uh, type in Smog the Magnificent. How the hell do you spell your name, dude? S-M-A-U-G underscore underscore. Why is that not coming up with anything? There you are. See, Smog's got caps. Yeah, and I think he subbed recently, so he has a bonus thousand. So people are getting it. Um, anything, anything that it's telling you guys about, like I need to update extensions or anything like that, I'm pretty sure that's on your, that's on your end, guys. Um, you, I don't know what you need to do to fix that, but I'm pretty sure it's it's on your end because people are getting caps for sure um, by being here. Um, so yeah, just just look below. Make sure everything's enabled. Go through all the uh, go through all the settings and everything like that. It'll just take it just takes two seconds, and you'll get currency as you watch the stream, and then you can turn those in for rewards. Okay. Um, okay. Well, I'll try it one more time. If you're getting an update, okay, I've already done this, but just to make sure, if a mod could like do that thing and, and give me the link that it says, I've tried it, and it doesn't take me to the right thing. But maybe, yeah. If there if there's any mods in the chat right now that want to like drop me that link again just to see I don't know yeah it's always been confusing but it seems like it does work 
It blows my mind how long I've been watching. Like, I think you randomly popped up on my YouTube during your first Oblivion playthrough, and since then, I've loved your content. Well, thank you very much for being such a long-time watcher, Jay Snake. Thank you. Will you play the new Fallout New Vegas mod, New California? Um, maybe. What, does it have a date? When is it set to drop? Okay, thanks, guys. Let's see. All right, I'm going to try these. No, it's good. I want multiple links because I want to see if it's, like, from... To update the extension, we still... So, okay, I wanted multiple links, so that's good. Let me try Crimson's. This will take two seconds. See, when I click it, it takes me to a Streamlabs bits. And I don't know what this... I'll, I'll click install. There is an error. Please try again. Yeah, so it doesn't it, it doesn't work. This link does not do anything. It, it takes me to a Streamlabs extension for just bits. It's not even related to caps. It's not even related to currency. And it says install, and I press install, and then it says there is an error. Please try again later. So I can't do anything. But let's try the other ones. I'll try White Wolf's. Same exact thing. Oh, but now it says it's installed. Okay, let me configure it real quick. Oh, maybe it works now. Well, that was weird. Okay. I'm going to save settings. Uh, uh, okay, is it still doing that, guys? If you click it, is it still doing that? Oh, it's already out, huh? Oh, maybe I'll give it a shot then. I don't really want to start, like, a whole bunch of new playthroughs over and over again. Uh, because then we're not going to get anything done, basically. Okay, well, it's installed, so maybe that fixed it. Um, it Yeah, based on the, the site that I had, it, it just didn't look like it was working at all. So, uh, you guys try it now. Is it still giving you the same message? Telling me to update the extension or whatever? You don't have to be a mod to, to see if it is... Maybe it's working now. I don't know. Um, thank you, mods, though. It should be working, though. You guys should still be getting caps, regardless. That's that's weird. Okay, so, yeah. Well, whatever. Regardless, the caps should be working now. So, uh, just follow the instructions if you want to check how many caps you have to spend caps on things, to start saving caps. Whatever you want to do. But it is enabled, and I will be updating it when I have the time to add more interesting rewards and things. Okay? All right. I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, Centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. Ah, uh, I agree! It sounds... <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yes! Yeah. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. Well, this is going to be interesting to say the least with a melee build. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work out. But, uh... We'll give it our best shot. God, this game is so pretty sometimes, man. The game gets so much shit, and it doesn't deserve it. It's good. It's a good game. Is it Fallout 3? Is it Fallout New Vegas? Maybe not. Maybe not to that level, but it's good, okay? Do we know how to check our caps? Uh, is it not down there? I thought I explained everything down there. That's not... I'm, I'm genuinely asking. Does nobody know how? Oh, yeah, no. Once you have it enabled, you should be able to hover over the stream, and there should be a little icon. If you click that, it should tell you how much, and you should be able to uh, turn in some stuff, too. Yeah, that's how you do it. Good luck with the queen, qua queen crab. Thank you. Uh, and Ember, I finally got time for a stream. Hi, everyone. Hello, Ember Birdie. Hello. Thank you for the bits. And McConnell4, thank you for following. Red Bear Instant Q&A, if you almost die from a spice challenge, will I be banned? No. Uh, actually, I will hold you to a higher regard. If you make me almost die from a spice challenge, I will hold you in a higher regard. Because I like to think of myself... I, but I'm not going to continue this line of thought because what am I talking about? I like spice, but it's spicy shit is still spicy shit. It's going to burn the hell out of my mouth. No, you won't be banned, but I have a feeling it's going to suck whatever you're sending me. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that for chits and giggles. I really think that it's going to be bad, but I'm down for it. I will try it. Excuse me. Everyone's here, General. There it is. Pretty impressive, huh? Its real name is Fort Independence, but the Miniman always just called it the castle. Now you can see why I wanted to take it back. 
Impressive. Definitely. That's right. They don't make them like they used to. We take this place back, people will know we mean business. Our primary objective is to clear the courtyard. That's where we should see the most opposition. The wall on this side is the most exposed. But if we circle around south, we could also reach the main gate. What are we waiting for? Let's just get in there and shoot those lobsters. You're all gonna die. You're all if red we shirts. Split up, we can flank them from both sides. It'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. Why not let them come to us? We set up a firing line on this side and you can draw them out. Well, General, what do you think? Doesn't really matter because you're all going to, uh... <laughs> you're, you're all going to get decimated, I hate to tell you. Draw them out. Pincer attack. Not ready yet. Guns blazing. Uh, pincer is flanking them. Draw them out. I don't even know what's best for a melee attack. Guns blazing, so they start off pretty far, right? So that's bad. Draw them out. They'd be kind of close. Pincer attack. General? Flanking them. I'm thinking, Preston. Uh, draw them out. Set up. Sounds good. We'll hold back and wait for them to come to us. Just don't get yourself trapped in there. All I right, people. You heard the general. Let's move out. I feel like we're going to die at least once. Attention until we're in position. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this is going to be quite bad. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know how I'm going to deal with the... But like I said, I think we're over-leveled, so... I don't know if we are. <laughs> um, I want it to be daytime, though. I would like it to be daytime when we engage with this, so I can actually see the crabs. You should join Curse instead. It's 90% revenue. What are you talking about? As opposed to my current network? Um, I, well, I can't talk about my contract details, but I will say that that's not much different than what I've got going on. Is this the third time you've changed Thronk's voice? It's gone through some changes. It's gone through some changes, but I, I've been on this one for, I think, the longest out of all the other ones. And I think we'll stick with it for some time. I used up all my perks, right? Okay. All right. Well, here we go. Wish me luck. We got a giant crab to fight. Um, I don't know how that's really going to work out with melee, but I guess we'll see. Okay. <laughs> Make every shot count. All right. You guys. It's not a fish. It's a crab, dude. Not as much damage as I would have liked, to be honest. Okay, that was pretty good. That's what I wanted them to do. I wanted, I wanted them to come to us. Get your eggs out of here. Get your eggs up out of here. Smash your Get your eggs. Disgusting eggs. Ew, I hate these things. Man. Fighting Mylers really sucks for melee builds. But it makes sense. Come on, give me that nice swing. Okay, we should get a level up here, too. We are leveling up quite rapidly. Very nice. Isn't there a... I think there is a thing where you have to destroy all the eggs, right? That's part of this. Disgusting. Okay, we'll just run around the edges of the, the castle. That was my kill, Strong. I'd appreciate it. No if... more bugs. Smash them all. Yeah, done. I'd appreciate it if, sort of, you know, when I see something, you let me take it out, okay? If I'm running directly towards something with a big giant axe in my hand, maybe, maybe let me, maybe, maybe let me handle it. What do you think, Strong? This is the, this is the best part of so, Fallout 4. For now. It is quite fun, yeah. Okay, yeah, we do have to destroy the eggs. I think it's every single one, too. Every single egg. And then something very bad happens. <laughs> oh, this is so hard to hit. I hate omelets. Still more. Okay, looks like... Uh, we've got a quest objective, but every time I look at it, it's gone. It's like a boo from Mario. I, I think it's... Hey, pal. 
Hey, hey pal, I, I think, I think, I think it's over. You're done. Okay, forget how to progress. This one always seems so finicky. It always, like, never updates for some weird reason. Oh, because you have to get close. Ah, that, that makes a lot of sense. God, you would think a melee weapon would be good for smashing these eggs, but it's honestly harder than every other weapon. Oh, I hate these things. Get out of my face. Squash them, you man. There we go. I thought girl that finally hit it. Oh, there's so many. You know what? You know what? We're just gonna burn it with fire. I just realized I never actually picked the Molotov, so I threw a frag grenade and I was wondering why it didn't explode. Does that not even work? What the hell was that? Uh oh. There we go. I think I know what that was. Uh, I could be mistaken. Uh, it could be just maybe uh, a, a dinner call. Maybe um, someone's calling us to dinner or something. Or, second guess, Wait, something's out there. a Myrler Queen that does have the skull. I honestly don't know how we're going to do this. We do have the missiles. Um, yeah, I guess why not. We have one mini nuke. Don't worry, Throngs! Throng. Don't worry, Throngs got this. Okay. Better make this one count. Throng going to cross his fingers and hope that this lands where Throng wants. Please, God. Nice shot, Throng. Okay, let's finish him off with some more heavy weapons. Thing ain't shit. Yeah, you heard me. I said you ain't shit. What are you gonna do? Keep pressing the wrong button for that. Oh god, it's too close. Make it count! Oh, I really wanted that to be the end. Okay, I wanna kill this thing with bats. Let's run away. Hopefully they don't kill him. Don't kill him, don't kill him. It's my job. Ow! Oh god! Never mind, you are shit. You are shit. You are shit. You're so much shit. If it hits me again, I'm dead. And I didn't save until before the fight. Haha, <laughs> 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 you can't get me down here. I'm too smart for you. Ah, oh, stop pressing the wrong button, goddammit. Ah, oh, we don't have enough. Screw it. I think that that literally hit a tree branch in front of me. I don't think the Myrler killed me. Oh, God. Ugh. Why do I always get cocky like that? Jesus Christ. I don't even think that was... No, I, I don't even think that was the Myrler. I think that literally... Yeah, no joke. I think it hit... The, I think it caught like a twig on the tree and blew up in front of me, killing myself. Not even joking. I think that's what happened. Oh my god. I really wanted to kill it in bat so that it would be epic. An epic gamer moment. God, I hate my alerts so much. Just burn them all to death. Oh, hell yeah. I don't care, I'll light myself on fire for the cause. So satisfying. I don't know how I did that. I, I swear to God, the missile caught on like the tiniest little hitbox of a twig and blew up in front of me. I swear, that's what happened. I'm just gonna literally use all of our Molotovs to set these things on fire. These awful, awful eggs. What the hell? It's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much a, uh, <laughs> a guarantee that I will die at least once every single time I do the castle mission. Every single time. Because the, 
The queen is just so fast. I get so cocky. Eventually it gets close to me. Eventually it closes the gap. And then it makes me humble. Okay, we good? I'll get to work on these eggs. If you guys want to do some cleanup, that'd be excellent. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Should I just take them? Does taking them get get rid of them? I need I need to build a chest though once we cement this as our location. So I don't want to really grab any more trash, because I know I'm gonna get encumbered. Okay, let's save before the Mirelurk Queen comes out. That was a mistake. I think it's just this egg patch back here, maybe. Yeah, we don't have any quest markers. Come on. Come on! No quest updates. What the heck's going on? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna I want to bust these eggs and we're gonna save real quick. If it could, for the love of God, hit the right thing. Come on, dude. What is with the hitbox? Okay. I'm gonna tag it with melee this time around, and I'm just gonna go ham. And we're just gonna swing swing at this giant crab monster. The worst part is that you have to crack all the eggs again. I know, I really wish they didn't make you do that it, during this quest. It's always, always, always... Oh, new challenge for Thronk! Destroy the egg clutches? I already did that, man. Alright, bring it. Come on. Damn, that shit is burning the shit out of me. Jesus Christ. Nothing to worry. All right, never mind. We're going to go with the original strategy. This guy's taking forever. Okay, and enjoy. Sorry, everybody around. You all have cancer now. My bad. Let's landmine this thing to death. Strong! Strong! Come on, right over here, dummy. Yeah, right over here. Oh shit, I'm the dummy. Uh, no, uh, the poison deals so much. Come on. Right over here, you follow throne. Oh god, these damn... The damn babies are like screwing all of this up. <laughs> They're popping up all around me. Uh, you guys are ruining everything. Okay, that's our death trap. Come on, right down here. Come on. How much health does this thing have? I want to kill it in vats. I'm going to kill it in vats this time. Over here. Come on. Nah, we just wasted those landmines. Okay, I think that's two more. No. 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 Ow. I wanted to kill in vats, but oh well. Christ. All right. Good work, people. But we aren't done yet. The general and I are going to have a look at the radio to see what shape it's in. The rest of us clear out any remaining Myrlurks or eggs you find. Whew. Okay. We're fine. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Landmines are not Throngs, friends. No, not at all. Jacob Hockey, thanks so much for the 20 bits. Do you need DLC for the castle base? No, it's in the vanilla game. And it is probably one of the things most people do right off the bat. So which would you suggest, Fallout 4 or Fallout 76? Both seem really good. Um, well, Fallout 4 is single player, Fallout 76 is multiplayer. So it's whatever your preference is. If you want a, like an MMO survival light type game, that is Fallout 86. If you want a traditional Bethesda single player RPG, that is Fallout 4. Personally, I would recommend Fallout 4. If you buy Fallout 4 with all of its DLC, I mean, you are going to be quenched for content for a very, very, very long time. 
Um, okay, well, let's go loot this thing. God, you're disgusting. Yeah, Queen Mirelurk meat. And a heavy leather chest piece. Okay, I know there's a magazine right here. Guns yes. and bullets, ballistic weapons. Ballistic weapons permanently do plus 5% critical damage. Absolutely integral for What's a boy. What's that I'm reading? Hey, it's, it's my business what I'm reading. Okay, how many dead Minutemen do we have? This person here. Probably a lot of people that I completely decimated over here. Or, or nobody. Hey, that was the, uh, that, that was Strong's plan. Uh, he knew that launching a fat man but over uh, mini nuke over there would be safe. Sure. <sighs> okay, let's try this out. What do we got to do with this thing? Once I power this up, we'll be ready to broadcast. Oh, we just got to put a generator, right? Power up the radio transmitter. I think I got stuck on this part for a long, long time because I forgot base building was a thing. And I was like, what the heck does it want me to do here? And I could not figure it out for the life of me. Um, but if we exit this, this needs... Oh, that's right. You've powered up your first object. Congratulations. I, I, but the, the Starlight Tower, I did that too. So the, the medium generator produces 5 power. The generator large produces 10. But we would need 12 aluminum. So we just need to build two of these. But is it does it not tell me what I... It's weird that it doesn't tell me what I need to build this, because, like, what if I want to save some of the parts? But, okay. We'll put this one here. Oh, no! See? We can't... We need steel now. Ugh. But we can get that easily. Yeah, so part of this... Part of the fun of the castle... Honestly, it just appeases my OCD nature is to, like, scrap everything, uh, including the gun turrets. Or maybe is it only the gun turrets that you can scrap? But you can, see, you can scrap that... But I know what what we want to scrap is the gun stuff. And there's some gun stuff over here. Dronk is learning not to get his legs blown off. Hey, he tries, man. Okay, this is going to give us some steel. Excellent. And now we can build this. But we're going to scrap the other stuff, too. You can scrap this, right? No? Okay. There are two guns, right? Or is there just one gun? I want to upgrade all this stuff, so we'll probably just scrap everything. But let's put the generator here for now. Uh, how do you rotate again? D-pad? No. Hold A? I don't. I want it to be like at the same. Can I just do like? There we go. Okay. Now I attach a wire to that, and then I attach a wire to this one, and there we go. Good afternoon. Preston loved that. That's a surprise. Strong like that, too? Attention Good to know. Okay, let's level up real quick. Um, okay. 27, 41. Can get that. But I think what we want is toughness. You now have plus 30 damage resistance. We're just going to basically make him like a, you know, obviously a melee tank. So, yeah, we definitely want that, too. And then we can also get the next one. Oh, no, we can't. That's going to be at level 31. Travel to Abernathy Farm. But there's a lot of stuff that we can do here in the castle. Uh, let's talk in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more water real quick. 86, Fallout 76. My bad. I mind the initial path the thing takes, then misles. Isn't Fallout 76 just a poorly made MMO? Uh, I don't consider it an MMO. I, if anything, it's an MMO light. I mean, it's, it's very light on the MMO qualities. Um, I don't know, you know, to be completely honest, the entire fan base of Bethesda seems extremely split on Fallout 76. It seems like half the people are just shitting all over it and really detest it, and half the people are super duper excited for it. I look through, like, Bethesda's official announcements on Twitter, and I read some of the comments, I look through some YouTube comments. I don't know, to me, the feeling that I'm get right, getting right now is like it's split down the middle. Half the people hate it, half the people love it. So it's kind of just like where you fall on that meter. I suppose. Triggers. Okay, thank you. Like I said, I'm a complete noob when it comes to base building. I never really put any time into it whatsoever. So when it comes to that, I am very, very, very non-knowledgeable. Lord Jovanius and Sarb Singh 7. Thank you guys for following and welcome to the stream. Okay, ladies and gents, uh, thank you so much for watching so far. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough of Thronks, 10 Strength, 1 Intelligence, Melee only. <laughs> Explosive. <laughs> Playthrough. Um, 
there's like a tag on Twitch for like casual playthrough. I don't really want to put that because I'm, I'm planning what I'm doing before the stream start. But it also is kind of casual in that I'm kind of just, you know, if I if we, for instance, happen upon a vault like we did at the start of the stream, it's like, yeah, I want to explore that. So we go and explore it. So, yeah, I want to do some base building because I would like to have a base. I mean, we probably don't have too many uh, items right now to be able to build stuff with. But we're going to just do that for a little bit here to kind of get a base up and running. We're not going to go for the Minutemen. Um, no, I don't think so. I, I, just, I mean, Thronk doesn't really... I don't think Thronk really seems like the Minuteman type. Right? Did anyone read the letter they released the day before the beta release? Yeah, I read it. I read it. 76 is barely, basically an early access survival game. I agree. It, to be completely honest, it feels early access. And that's not ne necessarily a negative thing. They are charging the $60. But... But to me, it seems like the $60 could be worth it in time. Right now, it doesn't seem like that to me, to, uh, in all honesty. Um, but yeah, I agree. It, it all it feels a bit like an early access game. I, too, would rather have Elder Scrolls 6 or Fallout 5 or Starfield. I would um, literally... I would... Every single... Every single part of my being would rather have one of those three games than Fallout 76. But as, as I've said, I'm just going to keep a positive, you know, mind about it and try to see if, uh, try to focus on the good things about it. <laughs> 